Again tonight in Grand Island where deputies arrested a man in connection to a drug operation there. Good evening, I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. The Erie County Sheriff's Office seized $40,000 worth of cocaine and nearly six pounds of mushrooms from a home on River Road. Two on your sides, Andy Payton has been following this for us tonight and he's live with the details. Tonight on Grand Island, it could happen anywhere at any point. A drug bust amounting to tens of thousands of dollars. This individual was probably very comfortable in Grand Island in a peaceful community. This evening, the Erie County Sheriff's Office announcing the seizure of $40,000 worth of cocaine, nearly six pounds of psychedelic mushrooms and 120 chocolate bars infused with mushrooms. Clearly the allegation here against Mr. Mudra is that he's a, he is a drug dealer. Resulting in the arrest of 29 year old Jay Mudra, who is currently facing nine charges, six of which are felonies that could carry a sentence of up to 40 years in prison. Detectives were on a surveillance on Grand Island and they were awaiting him as he uh, rolled up to his house. The arrest capping a three month surveillance operation by the Erie County Sheriff's Office that included searching Mudra's car at a traffic stop and finding a kilogram of cocaine and then searching his home on River Road in Grand Island, where authorities found $20,000 in cash and additional drugs. We're talking about mushrooms, candy bars. You know, the, the kids are not going to know what is in this chocolate bar many times until they do it. Tonight, authorities urging the public to understand just how dangerous these narcotics are. You might make just one mistake in your life, and it'll be your last mistake. And that it can happen anywhere, at any point. We're talking about a record number of overdoses that are predicted for this year, uh, somewhere around 500. It's a huge amount. That's a lot of families that are left behind grieving. Now, Mudra has already been arraigned and was released on bail today. No word at this time on when he will return to court. We will continue to follow this and provide any updates as they become available on that. Scott, Mary Alice. A quick question for you, Andy, before we let you go. With this being a seizure of cocaine, is there any word at all on if the cocaine they found may have contained fentanyl? Yeah, so officials say no traces of fentanyl in the cocaine they found in Mudra's car. They are currently testing the rest of the supply that they found, though. Scott.